Plato, the ancient philosopher, was the first to speak of Atlantis, a powerful and advanced civilization that vanished in a single day and night. But was it real or merely a tale spun by Plato himself? The questions are as deep as the ocean it's believed to lie beneath. Hello and welcome back to DocuFlix. Today we are back with a captivating video about one of history's most enduring legends, the lost city of Atlantis. Join us as we navigate through time, theories and technologies grappling with the reality and fiction of Atlantis. Could such a city have existed? If so, where might it be? Let's find out. Our story begins over two millennia ago with a philosopher named Plato. In 360 BC, he authored two works, Timaeus and Critias, in which he described an advanced civilization flourishing 9,000 years before his own time on an island called Atlantis. This Atlantis was said to be located beyond the Pillars of Heracles, what we know as the Straits of Gibraltar. Plato described Atlantis as an island larger than Asia and Libya combined, with a city designed as concentric rings of water and land. The central island housed a place and a temple dedicated to Poseidon, the sea god. Advanced in science, art and politics, Atlantis was a society that balanced harmony with nature and technological advancement. However, this balance, according to Plato, was short-lived. The inhabitants became greedy and morally corrupt, invoking the wrath of the gods. In a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods, Atlantis was said to vanish, swallowed by the sea, leaving no trace behind. Plato's account was rich in detail, capturing imaginations across centuries, fueling debates about whether he invented Atlantis as an imaginary tale or reported an oral history passed down through generations. While there's a great divide amongst scholars on this, the Atlantis myth has had a profound impact stretching far beyond the academic sphere. As we've seen over time, literature and popular culture have latched onto the Atlantis narrative, bringing it to life in countless books, films and TV shows. Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and the DC comic City of Aquaman, aptly named Atlantis, are prime examples. It's estimated that more than 2,000 books have been written about Atlantis, and according to Google Trends, the topic's popularity surged by over 20% in the last decade. Atlantis has also become a significant part of pseudoscience and conspiracy theories, with some tying it to ancient aliens and the Bermuda Triangle. Its allure lies in the promise of advanced ancient knowledge and the dream of a utopian society. Edgar Case, an American clairvoyant in the 20th century, made Atlantis a central part of his readings, suggesting that Atlanteans had technologies far beyond what we have today, including laser-like crystals for energy production. Such ideas have inspired countless expeditions, with about 2,000 reported searches for Atlantis since the mid-19th century. These searches, often dismissed by mainstream archaeologists and historians, nonetheless highlight our enduring fascination with the unknown. Atlantis is the ultimate mystery, a city of extraordinary riches and knowledge lost forever, leaving us with an unsatisfied curiosity. Was it a tale spun by Plato to teach his contemporaries a lesson about hubris and corruption? Or is there a kernel of historical truth in this grand narrative waiting to be discovered beneath the waves? Let's move on to the thrilling adventures and explorations that this myth has sparked over the centuries. The search for the lost city has engaged dreamers and skeptics alike, birthing theories as intriguing as the legend itself. In the late 19th century, a politician turned pseudoscientist named Ignatius Donnelly was one of the first to take up the search for Atlantis seriously. He proposed that all known ancient civilizations were remnants of Atlantis a central hub of culture and knowledge from which all others sprouted. Donnelly's 1882 book, Atlantis, the Antediluvian World, marked the beginning of the modern search for the lost city, sparking a wave of Atlantis mania that captured the public imagination. Atlantis has also been linked with the infamous Bermuda Triangle, a region in the North Atlantic where ships and airplanes are said to disappear mysteriously. In the mid-20th century, some theorists suggested that the Triangle's inexplicable phenomena might be due to technology left by the advanced Atlantean civilization. These theories, while largely dismissed by scientists, have contributed significantly to the Atlantis legend's enduring appeal. 
Fast forward to present day, where the quest for Atlantis is more robust and innovative than ever. Among the leading theories is the Santorini theory, which suggests that the Greek island of Santorini, devastated by a massive volcano eruption around 1600 BC, was actually Atlantis. Supporters argue that the island's advanced Minoan civilization, its destruction, and its circular harbor all align with Plato's descriptions. The Bimini Road theory, on the other hand, revolves around an underwater rock formation discovered near the Bahamas in 1968. Some believe that this formation, resembling a road or wall, could be part of Atlantis. However, scientists largely consider it a natural phenomenon. Then there's the Azores theory, proposing that the peaks of this mountainous Portuguese archipelago, located in the middle of the Atlantic, are the mountaintops of sunken Atlantis. Fascinating as these theories are, none have been proven definitively. Technology has become an invaluable tool in the modern search for Atlantis. Satellite imagery, for instance, has allowed researchers to study Earth's surface for any anomalies that could suggest a submerged city. In 2011, a team claimed to have found Atlantis in Spain using satellite photos, although this theory was later debunked. Underwater archaeology has also significantly advanced in recent decades, allowing for more in-depth exploration of our oceans. Submersibles and remote-operated vehicles can reach great depths and capture high-resolution images of underwater formations, proving crucial in the search for underwater ruins. Lastly, understanding geology and tectonic plate movements has been instrumental in debunking or supporting various Atlantis theories. By studying Earth's crust, scientists can determine whether a large landmass could have sunk into the ocean, as Plato described. From the writings of an ancient philosopher to high-tech underwater robots, the enduring myth of Atlantis fuels a quest that intertwines our past, present, and future. Having journeyed through the riveting tales and passionate searches for Atlantis, let's now shift our focus to the hard science behind the legend. Is there any geological and archaeological evidence that supports the existence of a sunken city like Atlantis? Geologically, the concept of a large landmass sinking into the sea in a single day, as Plato described, seems highly unlikely. Earthquakes and tsunamis, while catastrophic, can't completely submerge a landmass overnight. This fact has led many scientists to view the tale of Atlantis as an allegory, not history. Yet, that doesn't entirely rule out the possibility of a city being gradually lost to the sea. Sea levels have risen significantly since the last ice age, submerging many ancient coastal settlements. Indeed, underwater archaeology has unearthed such sunken cities like Pavlopriti in Greece and Dwarka in India, but none yet match the grandeur and scale of Plato's Atlantis. Comparisons of known ancient civilizations with Atlantis present another angle of investigation. The Minoan civilization thrived on the island of Crete and other Aegean islands from about 3000 to 1400 BC. It is often referred to as Europe's first advanced civilization. Minoans were known for their vibrant city life, complex architecture, writing systems, extensive trade routes, and stunning frescoes. All these elements align with Plato's description of Atlantis, which was characterized as an advanced and prosperous civilization. One of the primary reasons the Minoan civilization has been linked to Atlantis is due to the catastrophic event that led to its decline around 1600 BC, the eruption of the Thera volcano, now known as Santorini. Turning to genetics, recent advancements in DNA technology have allowed scientists to trace population movements throughout history. Some researchers have attempted to locate descendants of Atlantis by analyzing genetic markers across different populations. While intriguing, these studies have not yet produced any definitive evidence for Atlantean descendants. In recent years, archaeological findings have led to some claims of a connection to Atlantis. Notably, underwater explorations near Cuba and the Caribbean have revealed structures and artifacts that some researchers believe could be remnants of the lost city. However, these claims have been met with skepticism by the wider scientific community, emphasizing the need for further investigation and verification. So how had the Atlantis narrative permeated modern theories of civilization and even woven itself into the fabric of fringe theories and New Age thought? 
Our first stop is the realm of ancient astronauts. Authors like Erich von Däniken have proposed that the world's ancient civilizations, including the legendary Atlantis, were visited by extraterrestrials who imparted advanced knowledge and technology. In their perspective, the technological prowess attributed to Atlantis might be the result of such otherworldly encounters, painting a picture of a past far removed from mainstream history. This leads us to the hypothesis of advanced prehistoric civilizations. Proponents like Graham Hancock postulate that societies like Atlantis had achieved sophisticated technology from advanced construction techniques to the use of electricity. While lacking firm archaeological evidence, these theories tap into the allure of a lost golden age, mirroring Atlantis's description as a society far superior to its contemporaries. Next, we look at theories of lost continents, where Atlantis often serves as the archetype. Much like Atlantis, concepts like Lemuria and Mu depict lost lands that once hosted advanced civilizations but met an untimely demise. These theories, largely rebuffed by mainstream science, nonetheless highlight the enduring fascination with lost worlds and civilizations. Our journey then takes us to the New Age movement, where Atlantis is often visualized as a spiritual utopia. Atlantis, in this narrative, is seen as a land of enlightened beings possessing abstract knowledge and spiritual wisdom. Its fall is perceived not just as a physical catastrophe, but also as a spiritual downfall, reinforcing the moralistic undertones of Plato's original tale. Finally, we arrive at the works of Edgar Case, who made several intriguing predictions about Atlantis. According to Case, Atlanteans had developed advanced technology, including energy crystals and flying machines. He even claimed that remnants of Atlantis would emerge near the Bermuda Triangle, providing a mystical narrative that has captured many. While these theories, boosted by the Atlantis narrative, often defy conventional history and science, their popularity reflects the enduring allure of Atlantis, a symbol of human potential, a reminder of societal collapse, and a beacon for the unknown. Atlantis, real or not, invites us to explore the depths of our curiosity and to imagine what lies beneath the surface of the known world. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration today. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to DocuFlix for more amazing content. We'll see you soon.